Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a three-part video for you. It's going to be part packing list, part outfits, and then part what I wish I had taken and what I didn't really need for our upcoming trip to the Blue Mountains. You'll obviously be seeing this once we are back. I have to say right now, I am absolutely buzzing. I am so excited for this trip. It's my husband's 40th birthday, which is why we are going away. So we are staying at the Emirates one and only in Walgan Valley. I figured for my husband's 40th, we might as well splash out and go somewhere really special. So uh, really looking forward to that. We are staying for three nights. So in terms of what we are doing there, and that's kind of what is driven, what I've decided to pack, um, we have hiking on the agenda probably two days because we are going to be surrounded by mountains and uh, it's from what I understand it really is picturesque and there's a lot to go and do and see in the area in terms of just hiking around and, and exploring so looking forward to doing that. We also have a dinner planned, they have a babysitter on site so uh, they will be caring for our little boy so we can have our second meal out together as a married couple alone since since we um, became a family of three so that'll be really lovely and I think we're going to do that on my husband's birthday. Uh, then we have horse riding planned as well which I'm very very excited for because I love horses <laughs> so that'll be um, a really lovely excursion I think. We also have a safari because there's a lot of natural wildlife in the area, wombats, wallabies, kangaroos, all of the native birds. Um, so excited for that too. And then uh, aside from that it will be downtime. So uh, the accommodation there, there's a homestead and then the accommodations uh, basically have one really large bedroom with a kind of living quarters attached to it and there's also a heated pool. So yeah, um, I have tried to kind of pack a mini capsule wardrobe. It's hard because uh, it's going to be really, really cold. Um, I think it's supposed to go down below zero every single day that we are there and a high of maybe 14. And it, that might not seem very cold if you live in the UK, but for us here where our summers are 40 degrees or 35 to 40 on average kind of thing, uh, it's very cold. So. I'm going to just run you through everything. Uh, I've gone for sort of that layering approach, which is how I tend to like to build outfits in the winter time. I have three pairs of shoes, some really chunky knits, which I'm not sure if I'm going to wear those when I'm hiking. I haven't really quite figured that out yet. So I may also just throw in another jumper for hiking around in, but otherwise I sort of anticipated I'd wear my knits while walking. Uh, so let's just get started shall we because I could waffle on forever. Okay so the first top that I'll be taking is this little grey Pima Rib tank from Everlane. I think these are fantastic base layering pieces and I have them in three colours because they really are incredible, they wash well um, and I've had mine for a long time, worn them loads. Also from Everlane is this white racerback tank. Um, I like the scoop neck on it and it's just a good fit. This is a great basic for spring and summer and I bought it in the black too because as I said it's very good and I wore it a lot towards the tail end of summer here. Also from Everlane is this t-shirt. This is, I can't remember if this is the air tee or a different one but I really love this style. It is in kind of a pumice colour and the fit of it is really nice. It's just loose and oversized and feels very relaxed on. Then the final t-shirt that I have is from Ceres Life and this is again a oversized tee and it's in a grey mal colour. This is very very oversized. I have the small and you could actually size down in this if you wanted. Um, I think this is an organic cotton and it has a stepped hem which I really like. So slightly shorter in the front, slightly longer in the back with a split on the sides. Then I have two layering knits as well. So these are both from our kit, however, COS do very similar ones. Uh, you probably get something from like this from Uniqlo as well, I suspect. Uh, but these are 100% merino. And I like merino because it keeps you warm if you are cold and it will keep you cool if you are feeling warm. Uh, it's really good at heat regulation. And these are super fine, so really perfect for layering. One is in this kind of dark chocolatey brown colour and they look really really teeny but they're very stretchy and because they're so thin they actually make for, you know, they're really good under layer pieces because one they sit very close to your body and two being so thin they're not going to add any bulk 
to your outfit. Um, sorry, these are inside acts have been in the wash. Um, the other one is also from our kit, yeah, and it is a black roll neck so I just roll this down this one is great for throwing underneath a sweater and then you've got this little added bit of detail around the neckline so those are kind of my base layers then for knitwear I've got this cashmere knit sweater from Cos. this is in a camel color and it is all nice and ribbed throughout the body and then it has uh, ribbing along the cuffs as well which is slightly thinner. Um, this is oversized on me because I did size up to a medium. I will have all my sizing info down below actually as well in case that's of interest. Then I've got two slightly chunkier knits. So one being this Mal Veda jumper which I'm so sorry because I do believe this one is sold out but I will try and find alternatives. This is really nice and snugly, very very soft um, and I think maybe I might wear this one in the car on the trip to the Blue Mountains. Then I also have this one here from H&M which is a cotton blend. I really like the stripe on this and it feels very Saint Laurent-esque I have to say. Um, it's really nice and comfortable and again a great one to layer with that little Arquette uh, turtleneck because you've already got the black detail around the collar and then it just sort of extends it up your neck. I do have one additional one because as mentioned I was thinking I would probably wear a knit when we are hiking um, along with a jacket. I mean I, I don't really know what it's going to feel like when we're there in terms of the temperature so um, as mentioned I am taking a bit of a gamble but um, I'm going to take this staple superior this is a really big oversized cotton knit I bought this from the Iconic, it is a men's sweater, I got the medium, really really big, nice and cosy, I love it. Um, then for my lower half, I'm going to take one pair of jeans with me. I thought I'd take two pairs, but I realised I, I really only need one. Um, so I'm going to take my witchery ones because these are my favourite jeans and I'm so sorry that they're sold out but they do have a similar style, it's just slightly different wash so I'll link those ones below. Really love the little frayed edge hem. Then I'm also going to take a pair of leggings which, gosh everything is inside out. Normally I'm much more organised than this when I am sorting out my wardrobe. Okay these are from Commando, they are just a really nice super fitted legging, so comfortable and these are what I plan on wearing in the car on the drive because I think when you were going to be seated in a confined space for a, you know, for three hours you want to be comfortable so that's sort of what I had those in mind for but I figured these would be great with that uh, big H&M sweater with that staple superior net, um, just a good kind of layering piece to have. Um, actually they would also layer really well underneath this other item which is a pair of trousers. These are a dark grey trouser from H&M and I have to say these are brilliant. They wash really well too. I have them in three colours because I really like the style. I'd have to get them taken up because they were a bit too long for me but now they are sort of the perfect cropped length. So those are the bottoms that I'm taking and then I do have a dress because I wanted something nice to wear when we go out for dinner. So you may recall I purchased this dress last year. It is from Marl and it is this really lovely ribbed midi length dress. Sort of has a bit of an A-line shaped hemline and it's cut on the bias. It is just very very flattering. I thought I could either layer this underneath a knit or I would just wear it with a jacket. I had thought about taking a blazer with me but it felt excessive. Um, the blazer... You have to mind our squeaky floorboards. I was thinking about taking this and of the Stories blazer because it does actually pair really nicely with the colour of the mild dress. But I kind of thought we are going to be in more of a mountainous area. It's a lot more casual and I know that aside from wearing this to the dinner, um, I probably wouldn't reach for this again. And I feel like versatility is definitely key when you're packing for a shorter trip um, and you know, you want to minimize how much you're packing. All right, we'll talk coats, boots, and then I'll share the active wear. So um, I'm going to take this one here from The Curated. It is their boyfriend coat. I've been wearing this a lot recently. I really like how oversized it is and I feel very kind of Scandi cool when I wear this. It does have quite long sleeves actually. Then let's talk shoes. So I'm taking three pairs of shoes, one pair literally just for this dinner, but I don't get much of an opportunity to dress up so I figured why not. First of all we have the ballet flat my about Ariane pumps which 
I'm very much obsessed with, really love these and I love what they add to an outfit. The little bow on the um, on the toe as well I think is very sweet. For a more practical option I have my port and pair boots which I'm absolutely loving. Did size down half a size in these as recommended on the net forte website and they fit me perfectly so I got them in a 39 and a half and I'm usually at 40. And then we have the going out shoes which are my Sam Edelman pumps. I adore these shoes. I love the Dorsé style of them and being in a um, nude colour, they just really elongate my legs. So yeah, those are the three shoes. Then let's talk about ooh, some accessories. Hang on. And I also thought I would bring my blanket scarf. This is from Everlane. It is enormous and it is so cozy and warm. So the lighting's doing all kind of funny things. Um, I was just saying that I really do hope that they bring this style back because it is so lush. It's a wool cashmere mix, so it's very nice and soft. And being as large as it is, it is something you could pack if you were traveling anywhere to also have a sort of a blanket while you're en route. Then I do have some swimwear because as mentioned, we have a little pool in our villa. So Swimsuit number one that I'm going to take with me is from Everlane and I absolutely love this. I think it is so sweet and the fit on it is really nice. Um, it's a high-waisted set and sorry, please mind all the creaking of our floorboards, but hopefully you can see here it's this little ditzy floral. I actually have the matching mask in this uh, in both a light beige and then in this navy. <laughs> but I really like the fit of it and depending on how I'm feeling maybe I can show you a cutaway of how it looks on. Um, then I also have a second swimsuit. These are mismatched separate so the top is one that I bought from the Zimmerman outlet. Uh, I really like the style of it because you get quite a, quite a bit of coverage. I find that those triangle style bras do nothing for me and are very unflattering. And then I just have some plain black high-waisted bottoms from Country Road, which I've had for a few years now. Then for active wear. Alright, so I've got two pairs of leggings, both black. These ones are from Girlfriend and I love how nice and thick they are and they're really, they really conform to your body and feel very, very comfortable. They do pick up a lot of fluff though, that's the only downside to this black pair, but if you get them in other colours, um, I've had them in the pink and they were fine. Uh, then I also have the Everlane Perform leggings. Um, I will say like these are really, these are really nice in terms of being super comfortable. They're a lot thinner and very, very stretchy. However, I do find that the band, it tends to sort of roll. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't lay flat like my other leggings, especially when I'm doing quite a vigorous workout. So I did want to mention that, but otherwise I think they're fab and I believe they come in different leg lengths too, which is really good if you are petite. Same with the girlfriend ones, I think, actually. Then I've just got a couple of tops here. So um, I have, I think this is a men's t-shirt from Eveline, which used to belong to Luke. And gosh, you can see how much I've worn it. The color is really faded from being in the sun. So that's one. Then we have a PE Nation gray tank. Really love the feel of this fabric. And then finally, um, this is just a woman's long sleeve top from Grana, which is really nice and comfortable. I, I really like their Pima cotton. Pretty much all of Luke's t-shirts actually are Grana. He really likes the fit of them and the feel of the cotton. So I thought I'd just mention that. And I'm gonna show you my uh, my hiking boots too. These are the boots. I just realized this, this is gonna be a very long video. Um, they are called the X Ultra 4 Mid GTX Women's. I wear them in the UK 7 and they are from Salomon. Salomon? God, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I tried on a few different pairs. I tried on Merrill and they were so narrow. I have wide feet and someone else mentioned this too that Salomon is good for people who have wide feet. I would recommend trying on hiking boots in store though, uh, as opposed to buying them online. Or if you're buying them online, make sure that they have a good returns policy in case they aren't right for you. But yeah, they are just very, very comfortable, very cushioned. Also have some nice cushiony socks to go with them. So that is a look at everything I will be packing. I didn't mention this earlier, but the suitcase that I will be actually packing everything into for this trip is going to be my July carry on suitcase and then I do have the packing cells as well. I think what I'm going to do is pack everything by type because that makes the most sense to me. Um, but yeah, that's it for this portion of the video. 
Okay, so part two of this video, I'm going to talk through all the outfits that I wore while we were away. Um, so we are now back. Uh, we had the most magical time. Uh, I did share a little bit of a highlights reel over on my Instagram. I will leave a link to the post down below if you want to go and see some photos and a little bit of video. If I can insert some other things that I took, uh, maybe I'll do that now. But we loved it. Such an amazing place to go, especially if you have a special occasion. That was why we went. My husband turned 40 and uh, I really wanted to treat him something special as we had been planning to go somewhere like Rarotonga for the past few years. That's where we didn't planned on going. But because of the pandemic, we decided to just stick local and go somewhere within New South Wales. And yeah, one and only. Definitely a very magical place to celebrate something like that. Uh, and our son loved it as well. It's very, very well set up for kids too. If you have any and you've been and you've been tossing up whether or not it's worth going, the uh, the dressing room is enormous. It is basically like a second bedroom. So we had the cot in there, and you could close the doors. So it made it very, very easy to uh, continue to stay up in the evening while our boy was asleep. Uh, and they do have a babysitter as well. Okay, <laughs> enough rambling. Uh, okay, so outfit number one was the outfit that I wore in the car to drive there. I was driving and I wanted to be really comfortable. So I wore my Ceres Live grey tee, which I had on underneath this H&M uh, cotton mix knit with the stripes. Just very nice and oversized. And then on my lower half, I was wearing my uh, We Are Commando leggings as well as my Port and Pear boots, which I have to say are the real MVP. Uh, those in the leggings are the real MVP of this entire trip. I wore them every single day that we were away. They really are just top notch, incredible quality, very comfortable. Then when we got there, because in the car it was relatively warm and you don't want to be too bundled up when you're behind the wheel, uh, I also was wearing my coat. And the one that I took, as I mentioned earlier, was this one from the curated, just the boyfriend coat. Uh, I decided to go with this because one, really nice and relaxed, it's going to fit over really bulky sweaters and also just looks good with everything being dark grey, uh, very easy to mix and match. Now I'm not going to lie, I did actually find myself changing multiple times, both on the Saturday and the Sunday, just to reflect the activities that we were doing. And also we kind of just found ourselves jumping in the pool and having a bit of a swim quite often because it's attached to your room, it's private, it's easy. Uh, and it was just really nice to kind of jump in there with our boy, but also equally to be able to enjoy just having a bit of a float while he was napping as well. Um, so first thing that we did on Saturday morning, aside from getting breakfast, was go for a hike. They had this wildlife loop that we did, so I wanted to be comfortable because it's quite cold. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take a screenshot of the weather, but uh, it was on our final morning, it was below zero when we got up. <laughs> it was quite cold. I would say it was sort of a high of 16, but a chilly 16 because we're in the mountains uh, and it really took a long time for the day to heat up. Um, so for our hike, I wore um, a black Eveline t-shirt. It's a men's one that I've had for a while and I wear it to work out in. It actually used to be Luke's and I stole it. Um, over the top, I wore this cashmere knit from Cos, which I was, this one was gifted to me. Um, you might be able to see, actually, I'm not sure how well it will show up. It has bubbled up a bit and I think that was probably in part due to the fact that I was wearing a backpack which I don't think I talked about the bag that I took, but my handbag that I took was my Von Holzhausen Shopper Tote because it is enormous, it fits everything. There is a review on my blog now that you can go and read if you would like to check that out. It will be linked below. And then I also took my Kankin backpack, uh, which was able to fit, you know, my camera, a water bottle. Um, we also took the drone with us just because, why not? Uh, fit everything that I needed in it basically. Um, so that was the bag that I had when we were going hiking. I definitely just need to give this a once over with a wool comb or fabric shaver and it will be fine. On my lower half I was wearing my go girlfriend collective leggings which I really like those. They're nice and thick and they come up quite high as well. Um, they really are, I, I'd say they're quite compressing. And then on my feet I was wearing my hiking boots. I showed these earlier. They're from Salomon. Someone's going to have to tell me how to pronounce the brand because I've got zero clue. Uh, but yeah, that was my outfit. Fast forward to a little bit later in the day, we've come back, we've showered, we've gotten changed uh, and going out for lunch. And they just have a restaurant on site. So 
I basically wore the exact same outfit but I just changed a few details. So I swapped the top I was wearing as my base layer to the Everlane, it's just a white racerback tank. I was wearing my Dr. Denim skinny jeans. Now I went to take my witchery jeans and the button popped off. So I had to take those to be repaired, they're now all fixed so I can continue wearing them. But I had to take something else so I decided to bring my Dr. Denims which they do fit me and they're really stretchy um, so they're pretty comfortable. And being a faded black they go with everything. And then on my feet I wore my About Ariane pumps just because I wanted to be a little bit more dressed up. On Saturday night we had a babysitter booked so that Luke and I could go for a solo meal, our second one in 15 months. And that was a real treat because it's very different when you are going out for dinner with your child, uh, especially ours who's very very active, curious, uh, doesn't like to sit still for very long. <laughs> it keeps us on our toes that's for sure. Uh, so um, I dressed up a little bit because I figured why not, I don't often get the occasion and I have to say I think if I didn't want to dress up I probably wouldn't have taken a pair of heels but let me just talk you through the outfit so the dress that I'm wearing is the long sleeve knitted dress from Marl I've seen I bought mine last year and I've seen that they've re-released it in a slightly different silhouette so I'm gonna link that down below because it is equally as nice and it comes in a few different colors uh, I really like this because it feels so lovely on the skin being a cotton silk cashmere mix uh, it's really nice and long too so not much skin exposed on my feet I wore my Sam Edelman pumps uh, which I love and being a nude color you kind of have that tonal outfit thing going on which you know I can't get enough of and then because it was cold by this point I did again wear my coat uh, to and from the restaurant on site uh, and like I said this coat goes with everything also looks really great with this dress. Now I think Sunday was the warmest day that we were there and we booked in horse riding which I absolutely love horses and so any opportunity to go riding I will always put my hand up for. Uh, so we had a babysitter book to look after our boy again and I actually think he had the most incredible time. He petted a wombat, he chased after kangaroos, uh, he loved it. Uh, we also had an amazing time horse riding uh, and yeah so I went for comfort over everything. So I wore um, underneath my mal net, so this is sort of the big piece that I was wearing to keep me nice and cozy. I was wearing a basic tee from Everlane, it's just sort of a oversized one. Then on my lower half I've gone back to those We Are Commando leggings which are just insanely comfortable and I feel like they're quite a nice thickness too so they don't really show uh, the lines of your knickers. Then I wore my port and pair boots as well uh, which as I said earlier really comfortable, massively the MVP um, <laughs> as well as the leggings of the trip. So that was what I wore to go horse riding. After horse riding I had booked Luke in for two hours of massages so I ended up taking our boy out for a bit of an explore and for lunch. So I just changed ever so slightly. Uh, I switched out the leggings for my Dr. Denim skinny jeans and then I put on my About Ariane pumps just to feel a little bit more elevated and dressed up. Then in the evening we took our son to the restaurant and I threw my coat over the top of the outfit just to be a little bit more cozy as I mentioned it was quite cold. Uh, though that said I, I didn't wear my scarf while we were away. Okay final outfit of the trip. And I in fact in my cashmere knit from Cos. So what we did on the Monday before we left was we got up first thing we went and we grabbed some pastries and some fruit from the breakfast buffet and then we cycled out to a, a viewing platform uh, where they had a picnic table set up and you could just sit there and eat so you could have lunch there or afternoon tea as well if you wanted which I think is really really lovely and it was maybe a 10-15 minute bike ride from where we were they had little seats on the back so we could pop our boy in there which was great it was freezing cold though I mean I was frosty I actually wore Luke's leather bomber jacket because I didn't really think I could cycle with my coat uh, so that was handy for that extra legs I think otherwise I would have frozen I had to pull my my sleeves up over my fingers because they were getting very icy um, so yeah it was below zero and when we got there we had breakfast it was lovely um, just a really beautiful vista really and you could see the kangaroos bounding in the distance very very nice very uh, very magical spectacular otherworldly is probably how I'd describe the trip 
Um, so yeah, with the knit, I was wearing my Everlane Perform leggings. I talked about this at the start, and I do, you know, they're not my favourite leggings, but they are really nice and thin and comfortable. Uh, so I do sometimes find they roll over if you're doing a rather intense workout, but I didn't have that issue when we were cycling. On my feet, I wore my Port and Peb boots, and because this wasn't a cycle that was very, that I felt like I exerted too much energy, I didn't get sweaty at all, um, probably because it was cold, uh, I felt comfortable enough to wear the same outfit while on the drive home. So all I did was I actually just changed my top underneath, um, I was just wearing a t-shirt, layering basics, so good, and then I threw my coat on, and that was it for my outfit of the day. Um, I did also take sunglasses with me, they were the ones from And Other Stories which I featured in a recent video, I'm going to link that up here if you would like to go and have a watch of that, and I wore those every single day, they were brilliant, and I felt really good wearing them. So yeah, that was all of the outfits that I wore. Now for the final part of this video, the things that I didn't need to take, or things that I wish I would taken with me. So there were two things that I didn't wear at all on the trip. One being the H&M trousers and the second being the Staple Superior knit. Now I kind of knew that I was overpacking a little bit but I, I always think that sometimes you don't know what you're going to want to wear until you get somewhere and so I'm glad I had the options. The knit I brought as an extra just because I wasn't sure how much hiking we were going to do. Sort of again hard to know because we'd never been there before and we hadn't planned to do big blocks of hiking. Again being Luke's birthday I sort of wanted him to take the lead on what we did and uh, it was really an opportunity for us to have a bit of downtime but we also did a lot. I forgot to mention we did a safari too and we did that on the Saturday afternoon so yeah I, I probably could have had a bit of extra room in my suitcase if I hadn't taken them but I don't regret it. Uh, I also didn't wear my scarf at all and that was something that I thought I probably would wear but because it was so sunny I didn't need to. If it had been the same temperature but overcast then there wouldn't have been as much warmth. Uh, I would definitely have needed to wear a scarf, probably a beanie and also gloves which actually I'll talk about gloves in a second. Um, and also the other thing that I probably didn't need to take were a pair of heels. So I only took them because as I said I wanted to dress up but I really could have made do with my ballet pumps. And the other, actually the other thing I didn't wear were those really thin merino tops, which I thought I would, but it was, as I said, it was relatively warm. So again, if it was cooler, I probably would have worn those in place of a t-shirt. So having good layering basics was really key for me because it meant that I could take my big bulky sweater off if I got a little bit too warm in the sunshine doesn't really happen with me because I'm like a lizard, I run cold, um, but it was just, it was nice to have that option, especially in our room where the heating was just, it was so hot. Uh, uh, so yeah, that is kind of the things that I probably didn't need to have. In terms of things that I wish I'd taken with me, so gloves, number one, I wish I had those with me, especially for our final morning there, because it would have been really handy to have those to cover my hands. I am prone to chill blains and uh, I really had to be mindful of not going and trying to heat my hands up too quickly when we got back to our villa after our bike ride. I think maybe the only other things that, that I probably would have taken would have been an extra t-shirt or something like that. Maybe one that was a little bit longer because I was so reliant on my leggings. So you probably noticed there was a huge theme in all my outfits. It was something really big and bulky on top and something slim on the bottom. And it really helped having a consistent silhouette or a theme throughout our entire trip in terms of mixing and matching. Might be a little bit boring, but I just found that it really made putting together outfits very, very easy. When I'm wearing leggings, I do generally like to wear things that are slightly longer. So those Cerez Life tees are actually brilliant because they do, they are quite oversized and they have the stepped hem, but they don't feel sloppy. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a little look into what I packed for our trip. Uh, we just, we really did have a phenomenal time. It was such a magical place to go. Um, and I, really loved being able to see all the wildlife and get to share that with our son. I just think that was probably the best part of the entire experience. So yeah, that is it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me. Would love to know if you have a favorite piece that I took with me and I will see you next time for the brand new video. See you soon. Bye.